it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade For and welcome to my channel. Okay, so today we are going to do like a patriotic, I guess picture frame. <laughs> it's more than a picture frame, but basically that's what it is. But it's going to be really cute. Okay, so I'm going to use one of the 8x10 canvases from Dollar Tree. Um, basically it's like the reverse canvas. Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you. It's hard to get all of these staples out of here. And from what I need it for, I don't care about all the staples. I'm going to take my box cutter and I'm just going to cut along the back just to get that off. Because I don't have the right tool and I hurt myself the other day trying and practicing on this. So I'm just going to take this and cut. So, like I said, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut along the back of this. Just because I just want the wood frame. Yeah. Just taking my regular old box cutter from the Dollar Tree. And this is how I'm going to do it. Now, if you like this, you, know, you do it however you want to. I'm going the easy route. <laughs> I'm just kind of cutting along, you know, basically where like the staples are. And I can't cut straight for nothing, so it's kind of zigzag, but that's all right. Okay, so yes, yeah, see, that just worked. That just came right off. Like I say, if it bothers you, you can get all those staples out of there. See? <laughs> it's off! That was fast! I mean, you can see, yes, there are staples on the back, but you're not going to see that. And if it really bothers you, go ahead. <laughs> Pull those out. <laughs> so, okay, but now all I'm going to do, now if you have stain at home, go ahead and stain it. I'm going to use Burnt Umber Apple Barrel Paint from Walmart. 50 cent paint. <laughs> and we're going to use this as a stain. And then I'm going to take an old towel and just kind of wipe off the excess. And let me get this a nice little shake. So I'm just going to put me some brown paint on here. And then I'm going to take some water. This is just my old dirty paint cup. I'm going to take some water and I'm going to dribble me a little bit of water on here. And I'm going to take just my old foam brush from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to mix the paint in with this water. And it's going to make a stain. Do a little bit more water. Of course, you don't add a little bit kind of here and there. All right, so this looks nice and watery. I'm already flinging it everywhere, so. <laughs> All right, but yeah, so I just got this nice kind of watery texture. Now I'm just going to paint this on here. You see me just painting it on? Now, what I'm going to do is, because I don't want it to soak in. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my towel, and I'm going to wipe it off. And it's going to give you that stained wood look. You can see the... the see? Just by doing that, you can see the wood coming through. So I'm just going to keep holding on to this side right here. I'm going to do this side last. But I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to paint the inside. Okay. Once again, I'm just going to take my towel, wipe it while it's still damp. It's amazing. It's amazing the things that you can do with stuff around your house. Okay. Now I'm going to do the top same way. All right, now once again, take the towel, and I'm just going to swipe it off. All right, last thing right here. Okay, so everything now has been painted, stained, whatever you want to call it. Okay, but yeah, I mean, look how amazing it looks. You know, it's you can definitely see like the wood green coming through. Love it. Okay, so I'm now done with that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to take this scrapbook paper 
from Hobby Lobby. You always get four for a dollar. Um, it's like the Distress Navy with the little stars all over it. So I'm going to use this. I'm also uh, going to have a bunch of different ribbons right here. These are all cut at eight inches. And then I have these kind of like a medium size clothes pins from, these are either Dollar Tree or Walmart. I don't remember, but I know they were only like a dollar. So I've got these in the years. And then <laughs> I have a picture. And I will show you the picture at the end when we're done. So <laughs> this is a very funny picture. <laughs> okay, so basically all I'm going to do is, now I've got this all stained and ready. My hot glue gun is ready. I'm going to sit this on the top of my construction paper. Say that <laughs> on the top of my scrapbook paper, and I'm going to trace it out. Okay, <laughs> I've got a color pencil right here. Anything that I can use to trace this out real fast. So I'm just gonna trace that so I know exactly where to cut. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut this out, and then we're gonna get it attached and make a really cute, patriotic picture frame. So I'm curious if you all have started dating. Dating. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> decorating. Where did I get dating from? <laughs> have you started decorating for like Memorial Day or anything yet? You know, it's like, do you kind of bring out the, the patriotic stuff right away or do you wait more till 4th of July? I'm kind of curious, you know, you know, how you decorate. Okay, so now that I have this traced and cut out, I'm also going to go ahead, I'm gonna do the canvas. That way it just gives me a little extra support on the back side of it. So I'm just gonna cut this out real fast. I'm just gonna follow the lines from what was already there. <laughs> so I'm sure if you're watching my videos before, <laughs> sometimes I just start doing a video. You know, I get the ideas of what I wanna do, and then I come on here. <laughs> And it's, it's like, it's thought out, but it's not always like very well planned out. So sometimes I just kind of get the idea. I'm like, okay, yes, no, I'm going to do that. So bear with me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to use the back, you know, the canvas that came with it just for a little extra support, which it may or may not make a difference, but I'm going to do it. Okay, so I'm just going to line these up. <laughs> What I'm going to do is, because I'm using both layers, either I need to hot glue each layer down, or I've got a staple gun right here, I'm just going to use my staple gun. And I'm going to take my staple gun that I bought at Walmart for like $15, and it came with a bunch of different staples. So if you're someone that crafts a lot, that crafts a lot, I mean, I use this a lot, especially when I do signs for my wreaths. Yeah, so I'm just going to put me a couple staples. I'm gonna pull this nice and taut. Okay, and I'm just gonna keep pulling down as I do it. Okay, it's looking good. Okay, so now that that is completely attached, just staple it on the back, and because I did that, you didn't even know that there were still staples back there when I pulled it out. Even if you would have just hot glued it on there, you covered all those previous staples. But love this. Look at that. Just love it. So, so far, this project right here is $1.25. You know, for the, the canvas from Dollar Tree and then the scrap of paper from Hobby Lobby. So, so far, $1.25 in this. Okay, so now I'm going to take my ribbons. Like I said, I have just a bunch of different ones here. This one right here is Dollar Tree. And then these all right here. This one I believe is Hobby Lobby. And then I'm gonna use this little thin one right here for from Valentine's Day, Dollar Tree. <laughs> but okay, so these are all just cut right. Get that off there. Okay, so these right here are cut at eight inches, basically just cut straight across. Now, I have all of these stacked right on top of each other. Nothing fancy, nothing special. Just gonna kind of make sure that they're all pretty much lined up straight. Okay. 
like I said, these are all just stacked right on top of each other. And if you saw my patriotic, the farmhouse sign that I made the other day, basically same thing. And I loved how that turned out. <laughs> But it is the same thing. Just stacked it right on top of each other. I'm going to give it one little fold just to kind of see where my center is. And then straighten it all back out. Okay. Now I'm going to take this thin ribbon, like I said, from Dollar Tree. And you can use any ribbon Dollar Tree has. Like I said, this one is Dollar Tree. The white, they also have red polka dots. They have red chevron. You can just do a bunch of that. And they have um, paper patriotic ribbon too. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay this straight, this stack right here. I'm just gonna lay it straight down on top of this little thin one. Okay, that's it. Laid it straight down on there. Now I'm gonna pull this little thin one up and I'm going to tie me a loose little knot at first just to make sure that I stayed in the center of all my ribbons. Okay, which basically looks like I did. Now, I'm going to pull that really, really tight. Okay. Now that's tied nice and tight. And now I'm going to put a knot in it. Just so I can adjust my ribbons and they're not going to pull out and go anywhere. Okay. So now that is tight. That has two knots in it now. See this little bitty row? <laughs> now, we're just going to start fluffing. You just start fluffing and pulling. Go in different directions with your ribbon. I always recommend using wired ribbon because like you said, you take your two fingers. If you saw my video, you're probably getting tired of hearing this. But take your two fingers, you put it in your pinch, and you can pull. She's basically like that, like a curling iron almost. And then your ribbon, as long as you use wired ribbon, it stays. And even the um, Dollar Tree one like this, it is wired. Okay, so like I said, I'm just going to start fluffing and pulling this apart. There's nothing special to it, no trick, just fluffing it however you like it. You know, kind of get your ribbons going which direction you want. So Riley asked me if I, if I, <laughs> asked me if I would ever do a lab video, like a lab craft, and I said no way. <laughs> I mess up so many times. Y'all have no idea. I mean, you see like me mess up because I, I kind of leave it in there because I'm human and crafting is real and you know. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, if I did a live of a craft, it would be a hot mess and it would take forever. <laughs> but, you know, because I watch other people do, you know, videos and labs and oh my gosh, people would get so sick of me. Okay, but basically, you see, I saw I'll just keep messing with it. But yeah, that was just stacked on top of each other, fluffing, pull in different directions, and you may have to kind of mess with it for a few minutes to get, you know, exactly how you want. But, I mean, it just makes such a pretty, such a pretty bow. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, I have this frame, and because of my picture of what I'm doing, I'm going to do it vertical. I'm going to do it like this. Okay, so now that I've got my all separated, kind of going every which way so you can see all the different ribbons, I, <laughs> okay, I'm not going to show you the picture to the end. <laughs> so I'm just going to put it on backwards for now, and you'll see my picture, because i got to tell you a little story with it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to attach mine on backwards first. So I'm going to put it on here, see exactly kind of where I want it. Just kind of eye it, and I'm going to see how I kind of want this. Okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and glue my little medium-sized paper clip. I'm going to close pin down. Okay, so I'm just going to put me a little glue right on the back of this. Okay, I've got it hot glued. going to hold it down for a minute. So, so far we've got that going on. Alright, now my bow, I'm just going to hot glue my bow right onto the top of the paper clip. Just 
Put me some hot glue down right here on top of this paper. I keep seeing paper clip. <laughs> this clothespin. Oh. All right. So I'm just gonna hold that right down on top of there. Okay, so now this is glued down. It's fluffed. Now, this picture that I'm gonna show you. Okay, so all of us in the family, like on my husband's side, um, we each take like a holiday that we host. Like we, we do Mother's Day here at our house. We do the Saturday before, my mother-in-law, um, all my sister-in-laws, there's four of us total. We cook out, we play volleyball, the kids all run around, it's just a big fun day. So Mother's Day is ours because my mom is in heaven. So it's like my husband's family. Um, but of course we won't be doing that this year, sadly, but so long story. Anyways, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, they do 4th of July and they go all out. I mean, they do water slides, bounce houses, tons of fireworks. It's just cookout, it's just kid games, it's everything. So last year's theme <laughs> was like redneck patriotic. It was So we kind of focused on the redneck part. <laughs> so the four of us went to Walmart and we got matching sleeveless <laughs> redneck shirts. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the picture and it's hilarious and this is funny goofy us. So, okay, are you ready? <laughs> So yes, we all had on like the American Eagle, <laughs> floss like a boss. Yes, my goofy husband in his big old hat. So <laughs> I love this picture. It's so goofy, it's redneck, but it's hilarious and it's us. So, okay, we're gonna put this on here. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. And there you go. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and like I said, this is so funny, but we like to be goofy. You know, a lot of people in his family are very conservative, and we like to be goofy. <laughs> but, okay, so that, that's it. I just thought we could do this fun, cute little patriotic, very easy craft. Um... But yeah, I mean, this is seriously just a couple bucks. It, it's so cute. But the reason I put the ribbon on the clothespin instead of doing it onto the scrapbook paper is because if I want to change out the bow for something else, I can. But if I hot glue it onto the scrapbook paper, it's going to rip. It's going to ruin my paper when I pull it off. So that's the only reason I did it to the clothespin. But, <laughs> all right, that's it. So, um, yeah, I hope you all are doing great, staying active, staying healthy. Um, I love y'all. You are wonderful. And those of you, and you know who you are, you are just the sweetest, kindest, most wonderful women. So, and I love y'all, and I appreciate you. Um, but yes, I hope you all are having an amazing, amazing day. I hope you all have a great Mother's Day. And I just, I wish the best for all of you, but I will, <laughs> but I will see you all in my next videos. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.